What's up, what's up everybody? You already know, it's your boy Freddy Yo, holding it down once again for my Afria crew. Um, guys, today I'm gonna do a, a weekly update, see where the MJ stocks are sitting today, sitting, um, you know, for the whole week. Uh, and also find out who is the biggest MJ stock loser of the week. I'm sure you guys have an idea who it was. We'll go into details with that. Also guys, I'm gonna uh, go over a report from SeekingAlpha.com. I'll leave the link at the bottom and it has to it has to do with Aurora and it, uh, being that Aurora is having their earnings report coming in a couple days, 10 days, something like that. But guys, make sure you hit that smash or uh, smash that like button for your boy, you know what I mean? So more people can see this content. And also if you could hit that subscribe button so you can see these updates and you'll know about this information before everybody else does, hopefully. Or, you know, at least you'll know it. You know what I mean? All right, guys, uh, let's just go into that update or the, the MJ stock weekly update. This is weekly, guys, not daily, weekly. All right, and we're gonna start, like I always do, with Kronos. Right now, Kronos is sitting at $5.20 a share, down for the whole week, 13 cents, for being a total down for the week, 2.44%. Moving on, guys, and this is our biggest loser of the week. No surprise, guys. Aurora Cannabis ACB is sitting at $6.92, down a total $1.22 for the entire week, and being down a total of 14.99%, 15% of your whole ACB portfolio just disappeared. Hope it's not another 15% next week. Be careful, ACB. Moving on, guys, we got uh, Canopy Growth. Sitting at sixteen dollars eleven cents, uh, up to up for the week, uh, uh, canopy growth twelve cents, and up for the whole uh, week as well, 0.75%. five percent. Okay, not bad, canopy. Uh, canopy got some 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 pretty good news in there, uh, some interesting stuff uh, with Martha Stewart. I'm sure that's why they're 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 doing so well. Also, guys, we got um, Tilray Tilray sitting at five dollars thirty cents. Uh, down for the week, 43 cents. Dang, Tilray, you took a hit too. Biggest loser, numero dos. Um, down 43 cents for the week and down a total of 7.5% for the entire week. Damn, Tilray. Ouch. Um, Hexo, moving on, guys. Hexo is sitting at 68 cents, up one-tenth of a penny for the entire week. One-tenth of a penny. Woo! Just kidding. Um, uh, for being a total of 0.18% upside for the week. Way to go, Hexo. Uh, Organigram, guys, moving on. Sitting at $1.09, down for the week, uh, five cents, and up for, or, and down uh, percentage-wise, 4.39% for the week, uh, Organigram. And lastly, guys, we got my favorite, the King Afria. Afria sitting at $4.55, up for the week, nine cents, and uh, up for the week, 2% in total. All right, guys, and that's where the stocks are sitting. Our, our biggest loser, you already know, ACV took, took, uh, took that cake. I'm gonna go into why with this report, why they're the biggest loser. Ah! All right, guys, that's where the stocks are sitting. Let's move on to that report, guys. Make sure you smash that like for your boy. All right, so this report is from SeekingAlpha.com and it's titled Aurora Cannabis. Positive outweigh negatives. Okay? All right, and I'm just gonna go into the gist, you know what I mean? Go, I'll leave the link at the bottom. You, you watch the report yourself, get, get your own facts, but these are the facts that I took from it, okay? Um, negatives, let's start with the negatives first. They said they uh, ACB did a pushback on positive EBITDA forecast. You know, uh, they, they said one thing, that it was gonna be sooner, and now they're delaying it. And that's 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 what that's a negative thing that's gonna stunt uh, ACB from going up a lot, or you know you know making money or or making shareholders money. Uh, and uh, number two, guys, there uh, after ACB has uh, recently or I guess throughout time had a um, inability to provide accurate financial targets as the market shifts. You know what I mean? And come on, guys. I, I remember I had uh, shares of ACB last year at $9 a share, and ACB went to 70 cents a share. What? Ah. And, and then it split. 
Or, and, oh man, that's that's scary. Uh, I don't know, but that's terrifying. ACB. Um, also, another thing, uh, ACB failed to merge with Afria. That would have been a good thing for ACB because ACB needs whatever help they can get. You know what I mean? So the, that's definitely another negative. Uh, ACB not merging with Afria. Um, and also, lastly, guys, the reason this stock dropped 15%, in my opinion, guys, is that $1.6 billion write down that's going to that's gonna show up on this uh, earnings report. What are they going to... Damn, that's... This, wow. I, I, I'm really worried for those shareholders. If Afria... Um, Afria that, that had their earnings report and their their write down was like what was it 90 I don't know 90 million um, damn uh, or, or impairment charge and this is 1.6 billion damn that's a big difference I'm worried for ACB my opinion all right guys now let's go into the positive positives of ACB things that they did I see you Papa I'll get you in a second okay um, the positives of ACB what they're doing they got a new seat uh they upgraded their ceo um what's his name uh right there write it down here check check the reports uh melvin or something martin um he, and he's this and the, he's also the ge the gm of altria which is a cigarette tobacco company and so you know this guy already has experience so that's a that's a good thing for acb they do need to lock in some uh like a varsity player you know somebody who knows what the heck they're doing because clearly acb is on a downhill train it's i hope they can i personally want them i want to see acb do good and i believe they will do good and also another good thing acb is doing is they cut their production um cost of production and cost cost of operations by 60 percent from the the peak of when it was the worst they cut it down 60 percent that's a good, a good, um, some, some good information right there. Yep. And this uh, sidebar, guys, I'm sure you guys heard me say it earlier. This has to do with Canopy Growth. Canopy Growth, um, you know, they, they picked up Martha Stewart. Man, I expect Canopy Growth to get uh, make some moves because uh, I think Martha Stewart can get the older crowd. You know what I mean? And she's, she's cool. She got Snoop Dogg. I, I think that's going to be a very smart thing by Canopy. That was... Uh, sidebar guys has nothing to do with ACB okay but um lastly guys the takeaway um it's probably best to to wait till till AC, ACB starts showing proof of results you know what I mean that's what the guy says that's what we all know we all know that you know what I mean uh, I'm very curious to see what uh earnings is gonna be with ACB in September just because you know what I mean uh, I want to see what it does to my favorite stock Afri and all the other MJ stocks um I'm sure it's gonna pull us down. Uh, I hope you guys are, you know, I hope you longs are okay. Hold, hold tight, longs. Um, but pertaining back to ACB, uh, I do believe in the future ACB is gonna somehow pull through this. And uh, um, I think in, in, within 10 years, ACB is gonna be a, a super powerhouse. I mean, they already are, but you know, a more foundation powerhouse. Yup guys, uh, please guys once again, uh, hit that like for me guys, if you guys enjoyed this content, you guys want to see more of these videos, hit that like button so more people can see it, and you can see it, and also guys subscribe to my channel please, I'm, I'm trying to accomplish the, the goal of a lifetime of 100 subscribers, help me accomplish that, so I can, you know, live happy for the rest of my life, <laughs> for the rest of my life, alright, alright guys, later, thank you so much.